The First Lady, Dr. Jill Biden, landing in Kern County this morning for a quick visit. The First Lady walked off the plane just after 840 this morning outside the International Terminal at Meadowfields Airport. Her three-day tour of the country ending today. She helped celebrate Cesar Chavez Day a few days early and was part of a special naturalization ceremony in Keene. Our team coverage starts tonight with 23ABC's Kristen Barton, who attended the ceremony at Villa La Paz and spoke with one of the people being naturalized about what this meant to her. 31 people from nine countries sat in these seats and became American citizens on Monday, with Dr. Jill Biden present. And as the First Lady said in her speech, it's not the land or the language that make a country, but the people. The country was not safe, uh, or the town that I live in was not safe for me. My parents were too old to raise me, so my sister decided to bring up. Uh, have me here instead. For Claudia Marcella Campos, it's been 20 years. That's how long she's lived in Bakersfield. She's been in America since she was 12. Her sister, who was 15 years older, raised her like her own child. Claudia is now a housing specialist with the Kern Housing Authority, a wife, a mother, and a member of the United Farm Workers. Marcella Campos. Now the day has finally arrived. Monday, Campos becoming a U.S. citizen at Via La Paz with the First Lady present. Who knows the possibility of a dream better than those who have traveled miles just to find it? I know how hard you have worked to be here. So help me God. Congratulations. You are now new citizens of the United States of America. Taking that oath alongside 30 other people from India to Egypt to Mexico. U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services Director Urja Du sees the power in being a part of an agency that naturalized her own parents and helping that dream come true for others. For someone to finally be able to call this country officially mine and be able to contribute all the rights, all the responsibilities, all of it, the opportunity, the dreams that come with it, it's just a special moment, especially in a place like this. And the rockets ran left. Steps away from the United Farm Workers Movement headquarters where Chavez lived and worked. And days before Cesar Chavez Day, Campos becoming a part of the historic fabric of the National Monument and making her sister proud. It was uh, almost the uh, last months of her life. She told me that she was so proud of me for the person that I become, the from what I started and what I was at the moment. She said that she was so proud of me that she was a smart woman and that she she was what she was expecting of me. And as the USCIS director says, their American dream is just beginning. In Keene, Kristen Varton, 23 ABC News, connecting you.